Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be talking about specifically what it means to have your Saturn in Virgo or Saturn in the 6th house. My name is Brandon, I do astrology videos here on YouTube. This is part of a much larger series that I've been working on where I go over every single planet and every single sign. I have a playlist down below where I've gone through everything prior to this. So we have Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo, and then 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th house that I have done. So if you have any of those placements, there's a playlist down below for you to check out with that. And this video is specifically for Saturn um, in the sign of Virgo or in the sixth house. So if you are new to astrology, you don't know what any of that is, there's also a link down below where you can check out specifically if you have your Saturn in the sign of Virgo or if you have it in the sixth house. Because um, you're probably brand new to this and you're like, what's going on? I don't understand any of this. Um, so just so you know, that is down there below as well. So you can kind of check that out and kind of get a better idea of what is going on within your own chart. Um, so that, that's something there down below as well. I also, I'm going to put um, the timestamp for when I talk about what, because I'm going to be talking about both um, Saturn in astrology in, in and of itself, then in Virgo, and then in the sixth house. So if you have Saturn in Virgo, but not in the sixth house, feel free to check out that portion below um, for the timestamp. But I do recommend um, if you have either of these placements to just watch the whole video because there are so many different things that I talk about in each segment that I kind of link back and forth um, in a lot of ways. So there's some different points there. Um, and then, of course, obviously, if you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, all those things are going to help me out so much. It's what I do for a living. I love to do this. This is my one of my life's purposes to be able to um, provide this knowledge for people and help people understand more of who they are when it comes to astrology. So um, that is what we're here to do today. Um, and without further ado, let's go ahead and start with just specifically what Saturn means within the nano chart. Okay, so Saturn within astrology is going to be one of the harder planets that people tend to um, villainize and say is so negative and so hard and difficult. And the thing about Saturn, I am a Saturnian myself, I am ruled by Saturn, um, and there's a lot of difficulty that I have gone through. Everyone's gone through their difficulties, and Saturn shows within the natal chart what those difficulties may be centered around, both by the Saturn placement um, with the sign and the house and the aspects. Um, and so during the age of, you know, different ages between 7, 14, 21, and 28, Saturn's going to have a lot of activations during those years. And I did a, a podcast with a fellow astrologer, um, Water Aquarius, down below, um, where you can check out us talking about specifically how to surround a Saturn return, how to go through that. So make sure to check that down there if you have, you're in that Saturn return time, because that happens around the ages of 28 to um, 30 or 32. And it is something that um, I know not many people right now are going to be going through that if you have your Saturn in Virgo, but it is something worth noting. If you know someone's Saturn in Virgo, or you know someone that's going through a Saturn square. So if you are a Saturn in Virgo, you're going through a Saturn opposition right now. If you are the younger Saturn in Virgo, um, you're about 14. If you are the older Saturn in Virgo, you're going through a Saturn opposition, um, and you are about, you know, 40, 40 so or something like that, 40 something. Um, and so there is a lot of different um, lessons around Saturn that are related to time, related to responsibility, what you're here to do, your karma in the physical, tangible, earthly sense, what you're here to work on. Um, a lot of those things are kind of what Saturn um, represents. And so Saturn's sign is going to tell us more ideas of what specifically Saturn does in the natal chart. It's just going to restrict a lot of stuff, right? Saturn's going to restrict what we are capable of accomplishing within that um, sign and house. Um, and it's going to bring a lot of uphill battles, uphill challenges, um, as it relates to anything and everything um, relative to um, responsibility. It wants responsibility. It wants hard work. Think of this as the elder teacher or the mentor that is like hitting the, you know, hitting the ruler or whatever it is to kind of really tell you what you need to do. Um, it kind of keeps you within those confines. It kind of keeps that kind of... Um, structure really really heavily focused it keeps you really within those that box right it kind of boxes you in as you learn to work within the responsibility of that specific um, placement so there is a lot of um, power there um, with saturn in um, any sign but saturn um, in a mercurial sign we'll get to that when i get to saturn virgo specifically it has its own issues and lessons that it has to learn and so saturn here um in any natal chart has a lot of importance upon boundaries and lessons and maturity and elders and and learning how the only thing you can learn through simply living and having time on your side because some things you can't learn um if you don't just exist for long enough like that's just kind of just facts um you have to live a very long time before saturn returns i mean 28 years is a pretty long time for a lot of people um we only get a couple saturn returns in our lifetime um and it is something that people really really understand once they go through the first one they're like oh 
that's the responsibility. That's the heaviness. That's the reality check, right? Um, and so the Saturn return is very important. Um, and, and, heavy, and having your Saturn in various signs are going to be really, really important. And that's why I'm making this series, because Saturn is one of my favorite planets to work with. And it's really structurally important and very karmically important, uh, because it does show, like I said, the, the karmic weight that we're meant to carry. But we'll inevitably get stronger and lighter for us. So, um, so yeah, that's really what Saturn does. And obviously, like I said, the, the sign and house placement is going to layer what else Saturn is really trying to... Um, to teach us um, through patience and determination and perseverance, all those things. So, so yeah. So without further ado, let's go into what it means to have your Saturn in Virgo. So we have Saturn in the sign of Virgo. Um, this placement is one of those that um, lends to a lot of mental analysis, a very strong mind, okay? Because Saturn's in a mercurial sign, right? When you put Saturn in Gemini, um, that is a very um, strong mind, but it's a strong mind that had to go through a lot of difficulty to understand um, its own strength and solidarity, right? So Saturn in Virgo and Saturn in Gemini both have this um, really deep um, responsibility when it comes to what they're saying and what they're doing and, and how they're putting their words into action, okay? And so when we have Saturn in um, a sign related to communication in the mind, um, there's a lot of mental pressures, a lot of anxiety, a lot of overwhelm, a lot of worry, a lot of feeling like they're not doing enough, that they're not perfect enough. There's a lot of like cr critical nature with Saturn in a mercurial sign because Mercury is all about how we perceive the world. And Saturn is going to kind of limit and stunt that um, for quite a while until we feel like we can really understand and compartmentalize and conceptualize of what it is that we are dealing with. And Saturn in Virgo is no different in that regard as it is to Saturn in Gemini. It forces this um, kind of slow build of um, our confidence in our words, in our actions, in our ability to understand and digest. So when it comes to Saturn in Virgo, there is a digestion aspect to it. Then this is about digesting all the information that's coming at you, right? Being able to understand the power of your own mind, being able to, to work within the confines of like a mental you know, space, being able to know that like, okay, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to accomplish. This is how, how, how much time I have. There's a lot of organizational skills, a very strong mind, very strong mental ability. And with Saturn and Virgo, you're definitely going to want to look to see what Mercury is doing within the natal chart, whether Mercury is aspected to Saturn, which is really common. If you have Saturn in a mercurial sign to have a Saturn aspect to Mercury, um, which really wants you to really kind of understand your reality. And there is going to be a really hard road ahead of really understanding what it is that you're words in your mind and how that process is benefiting or um, detrimental to your own mental health and being able to maintain that routine, maintain working that routine and really figuring that stuff out so that um, you can ultimately have a very, very strong mind, a very strong mind, a very strong sense of what you are um, here to understand and how you can explain that to others. Um, Saturn Virgo also will restrict um, the ability for that person to um, to feel like the work they're doing um, is, you know, good enough, right? They can work extremely hard and get paid this much or their efforts are really, really big. Like that, because the Virgo is all about like those physical, tangible efforts that we're working towards a goal. So Saturn and Virgo, I actually genuinely like um, as a placement because it does work towards a goal being the the Capricorn goal of like a long-term career. So this is someone who could go to school for a very long time um, and or have this very monotonous routine over and over and over again. That's like, okay, I guess I'm doing this thing. I guess I'm doing this thing. And it's like, they're just going through the motions every day, every day, every day. And it becomes really exhausting for them. And that's why they need to have a very strong understanding of their own capacity, their own energy, their own um, health routines, their own ability to take care of themselves, help themselves, assist themselves, know the limits of their own, um, what they can accomplish in a day. It's a lot of that too, um, especially if they have like a really strong Mars. Um, but Saturn and Virgo, it's about the mental conceptualization of time, for sure, because Mercury, Saturn, but also about being able to conceptualize, I can accomplish this much in this time. I can put this on my plate versus I can't. And I think Saturn and, and Virgo, as they get older, they they learn more about um, about specifically what it means to um, specifically what it means to um, be able to organize themselves well and not put too much on their plate. Um, and be able to know what they can and cannot digest and can and cannot handle as well as what they can and cannot accomplish. Um, because Saturn and, and Virgo is going to want to do 
a lot of things and be a lot of help. They're going to want to help in a lot of ways. So they also could be really obsessed with figuring out their exact role here, what they're supposed to do here, what they're supposed to do for work. And like I said, if they're, if, and that's kind of why we have this kind of stuntedness and kind of heaviness around um, what they're doing every day for work where they're almost like, oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm not going after my goals. I'm not getting anything done. I'm not accomplishing what I want to accomplish because they, they're not supposed to, they're not, they're trying to figure out what they're supposed to do, right? What do I, what do I do with this precious time? What do I do with my energy? What, where do I want my life to go, right? Saturn, Saturn and Virgo is just like trying to figure out the right job, right? Trying to figure out the right, you know, work that they want to accomplish, um, the right thing they want to do every day. And they can almost over exhaust themselves from trying to figure out all of the, all of the right ways to, you know, to do and utilize their energy, go throughout their day. Um, and so Saturn and Virgo also has a very strong mind. Um, like I said earlier, they're, they're just really analytical, really great. Um, someone I know, um, my young, uh, the only person I know personally that has a Saturn and Virgo, um, she also has a very strong Mercury. Um, she is my, she's my family, a family member of mine. And, um, she wants to be a, um, police detective, like a detective, which is very Virgoan, but also very Scorpionic, but very Virgoan where it's like, oh, all the details, let's find all the details that someone missed, right? Let's be very controlled around what it is that we're able to understand and finding the flaws, right? That's why Saturn Virgo does pretty well because, um, it, Saturn wants to keep you within the confines of, think of it as always, it sounds kind of, this sounds, this is going to sound depressing, but it's not meant to. Think of being in like a perpetual um, escape room, like always being in an escape room at all times in their own mind. That's what Saturn and Virgo feels like because it's like they're in this escape room and they get brought into something else that they then have to analyze and then have to understand how all, everything works within that room and then be brought to another room. That's very much what I feel like Saturn and Virgo is really kind of speaking on because it's like they work at this job, they do this thing, they learn all these goals, all these things, all these like perfectionistic things and then they're brought to some other room and they're like, oh, how do I work in this room? How do I work in this space? How do I work with these people? Right? That's a lot of what Saturn Virgo really benefits from. Um, and they learn that slow build because they're kind of being contained in that small space. And I really, I really like that analogy. Um, but Saturn and Virgo is very much like a, you know, this, this really contained mentality of perfection and understanding and really mastering that specific mental schema and, and mental kind of framework. So like I said, being put in like a escape room that's specifically related to organization of, you know, alphabetizing something, right? For example, like, um, and then after that's, that skill's understood and that skill's organized, then they're moved on to a different skill set that's, you know, um, doing it in reverse, right? They have to be able to really, really be really adaptable within their mind to be able to, to master a lot of different information and a lot of different application of information. Because the thing about the difference between Gemini and Virgo, because they're both mer um, mercurial signs, the difference between them is that Gemini is just about gathering information and kind of taking it in and, and not really necessarily, it is about sharing it, but it's not always practical. It's about really understanding the message, right? That's what Gemini is about, it's about the messaging of, of one's self and their story, what they have to understand and how they can comprehend what someone's saying to them, yada, yada, all those different things. Um, but Saturn and Virgo is very practical. It's like, okay, well, what information is being brought to me and how does it apply to what's being said? Saturn and Virgo can also be amazing, amazing lawyers, not necessarily the judge. The judge is very Libra. But Virgo, that's very like Saturn Virgo. Jupiter Virgo too has it too. But Saturn Virgo has a very like detail oriented structural thing, especially because Saturn rules law. So there can be a lot of like legal things they want to get involved with or they get involved with legal things and then it becomes this whole thing, especially during their Saturn return. That could be a thing where they're involved with these like really legal, logistical, organizational things or they're they're thrust into, I, I have a, I just remembered I have another a client of mine that's a Saturn Virgo. And, um, during her Saturn return, she got thrust into doing like um, clerical work and and, and 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 organizational work for um, what she loved to do, um, and it was not necessarily something that she wanted to do because she got just put in that role of responsibility and working really hard and, and having that work ethic that people don't typically have. Um, and Saturn Virgo is really good at like, okay, give me something to do, give me something to to organize, and it wants you to learn that skill of application of information and not necessarily just regurgitating or understanding what it is, being able to work within it and get your hands on it and like take it apart, put it back together, take it apart, put, like put it back together. That whole process is very Saturn Virgo of like really 
understand how every part within a system works. And that's why Saturn Virgo, they're so smart. They're so stinking smart. Um, Virgo placements in general have so much intelligence, but Saturn Virgo, especially after time, like I look at my, I look at my family member right now who is a Saturn Virgo and I'm like, you are going to be so stinking smart in like 10 years because it's insane to see how much she already knows because of, of just the application of, of what she's able to just put together, right? She is just so, so, so intelligent. Um, and that's very Saturn Virgo of her, right? And she's going through a Saturn opposition right now, so there's a lot of stuff with that. But there's a lot of stuff that is being brought up that is like, wow, you have a lot of application of knowledge that you can really apply and you can take it in so many directions. But it's about narrowing that application, not being so, and that's where Virgo can kind of struggle, is they get so, they have their hands in so many different things, they don't know which one to apply it to, which one to focus on. And that's where Saturn Virgo really struggles because they need to know what to focus their work on, what to focus their energy, their time, their mental effort, their build like what do they want to build right and that's and that's what saturn is about what you want to build but virgo is building through like consistent effort consistent routine you know consistent health habits right what you do every day becomes who you are three years from now right what what you did today is or what you're doing today is a result of what three years ago you did right and you need to keep working on that and improving what you do every day so that the, the future you is being helped right and that's kind of what saturn and virgo saturn sixth house as well kind of speaks to is the ultimate goal is stability and saturn virgo is like okay well how do i get that i get a job okay now that i have a job now i have money okay how do i use my money how do i spend money okay now i have you know I have this bill. Okay, do I pay this bill first? Do I pay this bill? Do I pay, do I go after and I do this thing and I do that thing? Like, what, like, what do I do to get me to that future goal, right? And they're, they're kind of always analyzing the different things that are the most responsible things. So that's why that anxiety can come in because they're like, what choice am I making? Is it the right choice? Is it not the right choice? Am I doing the right thing? Am I, am I using my, my energy right? Like, there's a lot of anxiety, a lot of anxiety, a lot of over control um, with Saturn Virgo there, definitely. Um, so there's definitely some, some bigger kind of, um, energies here pertaining to um, responsible, consistent action and routine and health and everything you do every single day. So getting your first job is a big deal, um, but just maintaining a job and knowing how to outgrow and outgrowing a job is a really big thing because the, the loyalty to jobs is a thing that Saturn Virgo, Saturn Six Thousers, they have to like, these are the people that will be in a, in a, in a job for 30 years easily. They'll be like, Oh, this is a job I have. They will probably outgrow it if it doesn't have as much like of a, you know, like they'll become the boss, they'll become whatever. And then they'll be like, all right, this is what I do every day. Right. But they also have a lot of loyalty when they work towards something. But if they're not working towards a goal and they know it's not fulfilling for them, then they're not going to do it. And that's where the thing is they have to find fulfillment in what they're doing with their energy and their time. And they need to process their time and have a, and take care of themselves. Right. Really, they really need to take care of themselves over and over and over again so that they can. Make sure they're doing the most every single day towards whatever it is that they want to work towards um, and not take it too, too seriously what they're doing for work or who they're working with or their colleagues. Their colleague relationships are a whole thing. There's a lot of that. The colleague relationships, they might work with a little older people. They might um, specifically help other people. They might be caretakers um, for elderly people. That's also just Saturn in the sixth house too has that um, where they're kind of brought into old or mature spaces and, and maybe learning a lot from the older people. That's something that too with Saturn and Mercury, they kind of have older mentors or older people that, that are more established that they can kind of learn stuff from. So it's pretty cool um, when you have Saturn Mercury connections. And like I said earlier, you want to look to see what Mercury is doing within the needle chart and what's going on. And also, of course, what house Saturn's in. And if that video is already up, make sure to check that out. If the video is not coming up yet with that Saturn in the house, um, then wait for that to come up and just check it out when it comes out and subscribe to my channel, all those types of things, obviously. Um, but Saturn here um, is is just really there. There is a lot of learning from an elder, a learning from someone older, or someone more mature, or someone with more time, right? If you find Saturn Virgo or Saturn Gemini with someone that is significantly older, and or they are involved with older people, meaning like working with other people, working with, in like a you know retirement home, that's something that I think Saturn Virgo would really benefit from, and Saturn Gemini would too. Is is dealing with Saturnian people, which are bosses and, um, you know, just seniors, senior citizens, um, you know, uh, CEOs, like there's a lot of like top down stuff. So 
that's why Southern Virgo, they can, if they, if there's a job that they're in that is, um, that has a, that can get them to that top, 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 they're going to do it, right? This is someone who, like, if it's sales, for example, it's more Saturn Gemini, but if it's sales and they can, they can work their way up to like this top of earning, they're going to do it. They're going to do it every day. They're going to do it every single day. They're going to work every single day. They're going to get there, get there, get there. And they're going to be like, okay, that's my goal. My goal is 100K or my goal is 500 sales, right? They're going to work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. They're going to get there and be like, okay, now what? That's what Saturn Virgo is really about. Um, granted, it might take them a really long time to get there if that's what Saturn really wants them to do. Um, but if Saturn does not want them to do that, they're going to struggle really, really hard until they decide what they're supposed to do. Right? That's a lot of things with mutable signs about the decision between what they're doing within that. And what they're kind of focusing their energy towards, what they're pivoting on, right? There's a lot of pivoting energy. And that's the thing with um, with any mutable sign. It's very it's very adaptable and it kind of moves and it kind of can change. And so Saturn and Virgo is like, okay, if you change this, it's a really big move. Right? It's a really big change. It's a really big health routine. It's a really big difference of opinion. There's a, a different path that you're going, different work, right? It's like, oh, if I change this job, change this career field, change what I do for work, then now I'm... I have to start all over and I have to learn this whole new skill and I have to, you know, there's a whole, they, they look at that as like a whole giant laundry list of things that they have to then work on. So there's, there's a whole different thing there with Saturn Virgo and changing of jobs because the change, whatever the change is with Saturn Virgo feels so much more um, stressful than normal. If it was just like Jupiter and Virgo, say, like, oh yeah, yeah, let's do it. Like I have Jupiter and Virgo. Um, and I'm just like, yeah, let's do it. Let's try this thing. Let's do it. Blah, blah, blah. And I just go all over the place, right? Saturn and Virgo makes it a lot harder to make those decisions. And it makes every decision feel a lot heavier um, than what is being done. So, um, but know that what you're doing for work, what you're doing for your routine is really, really important. And it's helping you and, and take care of your health. Take care of your health. Take care of, of, you, of this, of what you do every day, right? Make sure you have that routine and you, and you just work with it. Because that's what's going to help you ultimately with everything that you have coming for you. There's a lot of support for uh, all Saturn and Virgos. There's a lot of support for Saturn, for Virgo placements in general. They need to know that it's okay to not be perfect. And with time, Saturn and Virgo will figure out that it's okay to not be perfect. And you don't have to understand everything off the bat. You don't have to be an expert in everything. You can learn those things. You can study those things. And that's really important, right? But at the end of the day, your only time will tell what you're really supposed to do, what you're really responsible for. Um, and yes, Everything you've done in the past and everything that you've accomplished and every routine that you've done every day leads up to the next day and everything that you've done prior will affect your future self, right? And if you keep working, you will get there. You just need to keep working, keep pushing, keep doing what you need to do. Um, work that routine, work out whatever it may be, you know, multiple times a week, you know, write that journal, have that routine and you can't do everything, right? But have that routine and make it a consistent schedule so that you can you can thank yourself in 5, 10, 15 years, right? Of, I worked on this, I went and studied this for 10, 15 years, or I went and worked this every single day. This is part of my routine. This is what I do. It helps you. It helps you feel stable and secure and 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 confident in your place in the world because that's ultimately what Saturn Virgo wants is to be confident in their place in the world, in the work that they're doing, in the job that they have, in their health, in their routine, and in just the service they give to people, they're so caring. Virgo placements are so caring. And Saturn takes the caring so seriously. Um, and it restricts that. Like I said, the, the analogy of like the, the, the escape rooms are really, really important for like a Saturn Virgo where it feels that way. Where they're like, okay, I need to like really understand what this is before I can move on to it. And they can almost hyper fix it on whatever that is. This is where you'll see like Virgo placements have a tendency to have like um, mental kind of over fixations on things. So Saturn Virgo, especially, I feel like can have like a, they're like, so like dialed into this. Right. And they're like, I'm focused on this thing. And they're almost like, I won't move on until I fi figure this thing. And they, they find something that's not capable of being fixed. Right. They're looking for things to improve and not everything can be perfect. Right. Nothing's perfect. So you have to just accept it as is and understand that that's part of the process is learning when to walk away from something, learning when to walk away um, and also walk towards something new. Right? That's the, the Virgo kind of thing is knowing who to walk towards, who to be with, whether it's going to, you know, make you feel less of yourself or more of yourself or more with that. Like if it's going to make you feel more aligned with the person or not, that's your choice. But Saturn Virgo really just wants to like, because it's between that Leo Libra, right? So it's between those those two houses. It's kind of relevant too for Saturn and, um, and uh, the sixth house. But there is this like, 
in between of um, who am I, who are they, that Saturn Virgo is really learning is how to um, really be organized, be strategic in who it is aligning itself with and, and who it's feeling, what it's feeling is best for itself and working within that. It's really, really powerful. And I really love um, the, the Virgo archetype in general. And Saturn and Virgo, I can't wait till inevitably giving Saturn return readings for them or Saturn square readings for them, you know, um, where they're, they're dealing with, um, you know, whatever that may be for them. I mean, I've, de I've, I've read people that have Saturn and Virgo that are obviously the older generation um, and they've been going through a lot. And it's something that we all have to go through a lot. And Saturn and Virgo really wants to figure out what their work is to here to do. And typically um, they're going to pick up a lot of different skills along the way. And it's about how they apply them in the end. Um, that really makes it a beautiful, beautiful gift. And sometimes you don't understand all the story until um, certain chapters end, right? Or begin, depending on how you look at it. So that's it for Saturn Virgo. Um, if you guys like this video, obviously like, comment, share, subscribe. It's what I do for a living. I love doing this. Um, I love talking about this stuff and give my knowledge. Uh, I have Virgo placements, so I love it. Um, and yeah, and I really appreciate being able to do this. Um, you know, this is part of a bigger series. So obviously, if you guys are interested in any of that, feel free to check down below. And if you guys like how I talk and like how I read stuff and like how, like me, um, <laughs> there's a link down below to book with me and look at all my offerings and stuff like that too. So thank you so much for being here. And I will see you guys in the next part. We talk about specifically what it means to have Saturn in the sixth okay, house. So we have Saturn in the sixth house. This placement is going to have a lot on its plate, okay? Saturn in the sixth house, if you haven't watched the Saturn Virgo portion of this, I'd recommend you go watch it because there is some stuff in there that I really brought up that is also important with this. But Saturn's placement here um, is going to really flavor this house differently. Overall, Saturn in the sixth house is going to have its own key themes to it, but depending upon Saturn's um, sign and aspects, it's going to layer it in so many different ways because... Saturn is all about time, responsibility, and, and just taking, you know, taking the time to really learn what is best for you, what is your routine, what you want to do with life, um, what your health is, what, what you want to work out. And a lot of people talk about the sixth house so negatively in astrology uh, because it is the house related to medic, like medicine, debts, um, like physical debts, um, you know, illnesses, all those things. But it also rules things like pets, um, colleagues, the work that you do, um, your day-to-day -day habits and stuff like that. And Saturn here really wants to perfect that. It wants to make the habit something that it can be proud of, right? It can be proud of, it can be responsible for. And so Saturn here really wants to create a sense of um, consistency around the routine, a sense of responsibility around the routine, a sense of knowing that there is um, some goal in mind of what they're working towards. They're like, oh, I could work at this place for 10, 15, 20 years. Right? I could see myself doing this for such a long time. Right, I have someone in my life that has a Saturn in the 6th house and they've said that to me. They said, oh, I, I feel like I found what I want to do for the rest of my life. And that's a big thing. It's a really, really big thing to come to terms with. It's like, this is what I want to do. Right, and That's a hard choice to make. Like You kind of go through life and you're kind of like, I don't really know. I don't really know what's going on, blah, blah. And then some one day it's like, oh, this is what I want to do. This is what, the path I want to take. Right, And that's what Saturn does in the 6th house. It, it, it kind of restricts that path. It restricts the understanding of what that path is. And you can kind of work these arduous, kind of monotonous, repetitive jobs for a while. And you're not really learning what you really want to do in life. And then one day, Saturn's like, okay, you've outgrown this. You've outgrown this. Here you go. Right? Here's what you want to do. Here's what your work is. You can handle this. You can handle this. Now you can handle this. Right? So there's a lot of um, consistency of habit that um, kind of comes in with Saturn in the sixth house. And having a responsibility in what you do every day making sure you're using your time appropriately, you're using your time efficiently, you're going after your goals, um, you're being very organized, you're being very, um, you know, conscious of your time and your capacity and your availability and your schedule. Scheduling, scheduling, scheduling is a very Saturn sixth house thing. Learning how to work with your schedule, how to be prompt, how to be time management is very Saturn sixth house, managing your time, managing your expectations, managing your availability, managing what you're able to accomplish, yada, yada, yada. You know, there's a lot of that with Saturn in the sixth house of really learning how to work within um, within a specific time frame, um, learning how much you can accomplish within a year, within two years, within five years, within 12 years, right? That's something that Saturn really wants. It wants to say, okay, if I do this one thing every day, like Saturn sixth house and Saturn Virgo are both, are both this way, but they're like, oh, if I invest $5 every day, for 20 years, it's going to be this much money, right? That's how Saturn Virgo looks at it. They're like, oh, if I do this thing every single time and I'm really, really consistent, it'll do this. 
that's what Saturn's about, which is why their choices um, are really, really heavy. They're like, okay, if I do this thing and this and this and this, and I do it every single day and have it really consistently every single week, it becomes this thing. I become certified in this thing. I become complete in this thing. I become, you know, a master in this thing, whatever it is, right? This is really where we talk about the 10,000 hours to per perfect something. That's really what Saturn kind of does in, um, in the sixth house is it wants you to take a lot of time to master a skill, to go to work and find the thing you want to do and consistently, routinely study it and do it and apply it, right? Um, and so your work is going to be very different um, with Saturn in the sixth house, depending upon what sign Saturn's in. Um, but overall, it's about really maintaining that, that structure, maintaining that routine, um, understanding that your health is really affected by what you do every single day. Um, so Saturn in the sixth, yes, can struggle with health issues. Yes, they can, they can have this kind of uphill battle with that. But it ultimately makes them really, really capable of helping a lot of other people as they go through that. So a lot of the time with Saturn sixth housers, um, we can see that they'll go through a lot of health challenges. But by going through health challenges, they are then able to innovate health, help other people with health, or they're motivated to work in medicine, right? Same in the, in the same regard, Saturn in, in specifically like actually Virgo in the sixth as well, but Saturn in the sixth can also be something where they go through a lot of legal issues or they go through a lot of, um, you know, specific issues to their situation that are, that are, you know, restricted. Um, so think of people that are, that are struggling with, um, you know, hunger, people that are struggling with housing, people that are struggling with immigration or any legal issue. Cause that's Saturnian is, is anything legal. Right. Um, and, and health related as well because it's, it's the like six thousand. Nothing able to do as much, right? Because you don't have the resources, you don't have you don't have the funds, you don't have you know the the transportation, right? There could be that where they've dealt with a lot of transportation issues. These are the people with seven six thousand because of the fact that you've gone through what the fuck you've gone through. Sorry, I swore. Sorry, YouTube. But because of you've gone through what you've gone through. Sorry, I swear to like kind of add oomph to what I'm saying. But anyway, you gone through the difficulty, right? You didn't have the like you didn't have the money, the food, the resources, the transportation, whatever. And Saturn now is like, okay, now because I went through that struggle, because I went through that, that difficulty, I want to advocate for that thing. This were, these are where people come in and they're like, okay, well, I didn't have food stamps. I didn't have, I didn't have, you know, the support. I didn't have transportation. I had immigration issues. I had a legal problem I had to go through. But because you went through that problem and you worked through it, you now can you now want to do something better to improve the situation of others or improve your own or improve the health or whatever, right? There's like, okay, because I went through a health issue, you're like, okay, now I need to work on it. I need to learn this. I need to do that, right? That's something that's interesting when it comes to sixth house placement is it changes the work that you do. And Saturn in the sixth is going to have you change the work that you do because of difficulty. And then, and then yes, yes, that can be like very arduous trying to go up the, ta like up, up the ladder of tasks and like get better and blah, blah, blah. And like go the capitalist started from the bottom. Now we're here type of thing. Um, but it can also be because of the struggle you went through, you change the work that you do and you change your career because, um, or your career in turn, your trajectory in turn, because, um, you have, um, struggled so much to figure out what that could be or who that, or, or like who you want to be, or, um, because you've been through health issues and you're like, Oh, I'm, I'm like, I'm feeling no good, blah, blah, but you've worked through all these things. And in that process of healing, of, you know, um, really doing the hard work and really like figuring out your routine, your self, what you want to work towards, what you have to do every day, that, that process of figuring out what you have to do every single day is Saturn sixth house, but it becomes what you do as a job, right. Or like a career or what your long-term goal is that you don't even realize because Saturn's restricting that for a while up until the age of 28 or 30. Um, and so there is a delay in like what you are doing for work, but because you've gone through so many different things, we said in the sixth house that have been really arduous, really difficult and really, you know, yes, it can be illness. Yes, it can be work issues. Yes, it can be colleague issues. Well, all these things, sudden return comes, you're like, okay, now I'm gonna work for myself. Now I'm going to, you know, um, I've gotten my health to this point and I now want to, you know, go to medical school or I want to learn this modality or learn, you know, go and, and venture into this space, right? There's a lot of those things that, or even a legal school, right? There's a lot of things that Saturn in the sixth house can do, but it's because they went through difficult things that the sixth house is like, all right, now, now that you've worked through this stuff and you feel healed it for yourself, go do it for other people, right? Go be responsible for the people, right? There's a lot of that there. Um, there's a lot of career stuff with Saturn in the sixth house um, around what you do for work and what you've done every day and what you've had to fight for every day within your routine to get you to the point that you are. So it's really powerful. Um, Saturn in the sixth house, like I said, depending upon the signs, can be really, really important. Um, there's a lot of stuff here with Saturn in the sixth house. Um, so Saturn, Saturn in a Martian sign, so Aries or Scorpio, um, is going to really want to accomplish something differently in their work. 
Um, the Saturn Scorpio in the six is this is this is more of this more of the niche example I was saying where they've dealt with legal issues, they've dealt with abuse, they've dealt with health disparities and issues in that, and they then yeah this is this one is very much the one that kind of back to the example I was just saying about like they've gone through a lot of difficulty like that's kind of perfectly summed up in the Saturn Scorpio one. Um, because of the fact it's Scorpio and it's like beating beaten down and then re-empowering itself. Um, so it's very much that. I kind of I don't need to like beat a dead horse on that point. Um, Saturn and Aries, um, this is this is where you're you're gonna see someone who really, really wants to work towards something and, and might not know exactly what they want to do, who they want to be, but then they figure that out over time. Um, so it's about figuring out who you are and some of it is is through consistent action and going after your goals and kind of hitting up like, like um, hitting up against the wall and getting no's and getting no's and getting no's and then eventually getting a yes right and be like okay this is what I want right but that's the thing with Saturn Aries I think a lot of it um is figuring out who you want to be and taking that time um and then when you find out what that is you're like okay this is what I want to do and like this is the this is the path I'm doing and you're like committed to it right um so Saturn Aries can do in the sixth house Saturn Scorpio like I said different story um Saturn in Venus world sign so Saturn in Taurus or Libra um I also did videos on Saturn everything before this so you know Saturn in um in Aries Taurus Gemini Cancer and Leo so I've done all those already so you can check those videos out for sure if you have them um but Saturn in Taurus in the sixth this is this is where we see the food stamp thing the one that I was talking about where someone really had to go through and figure out that value and that worth and make that money right um make that money get, get like um, get those goals find those fine chinas work towards those those bigger financial goals financial kind of um, uh, worth and, and, and having what they want. Um, so these are people that might need to work a job that pays pennies for a while and then eventually pays more and, and work it up. Like this is where they, they could be very reliant on like a sales job or a job that comes from their own effort. Also similar with Saturn Aries too. Um, but Saturn Taurus has a little bit of a different, um, slow build. Um, I'm going to use this analogy like I did in the v previous portion, but I think it's really appropriate here because Saturn, Virgo, Saturn, Six Thousand kind of the same thing. But some, something I said in the previous portion, if you watched it, if you didn't, you should watch it, um, was that the Saturn, Virgo archetype kind of feels very much like being trapped in an escape room. And then you need to master that thing and then move on to the next thing. And that's kind of similar to what I say with Saturn and Taurus, where like you have to have like this car that like is a beater and doesn't really work and like it's kind of worn down and then eventually you get an upgrade that's kind of the same thing with Saturn in the sixth house. So it's like, you have this skill, you did this thing, you mastered this thing. And then it's like, okay, cool. I've outgrown that. Let's try this different thing. Right. That's what kind of like, that's what Saturn can do in the sixth house. And Saturn in, in Taurus definitely has that. Saturn in Libra. This is, this is a big one. This is like a really powerful one. Um, I should have said this earlier, but I didn't. Saturn exalts in Libra is fallen in Aries um, and is um, naturally rules Capricorn and Aquarius. Um, and so it's fallen also in, um, I'm sorry, it's in detriment in Aquarius and in Cancer and Leo. Um, but with Saturn and Libra being an exalted Saturn, there is like a, there's a really powerful work routine here. This is someone who gets brought into working maybe in government specifically or working with older people, working with um, structural change architecture. It's very architect kind of job. Legal architect is kind of what I'm getting here. It's interesting. Um, I'm not going too deep into this because I'm going to do Saturn and Libra next, next season. So just wait for that. Um, but yeah, the sixth house Saturn Libra is, there's like a relational kind of thing here. There's like a, some relationship, um, following the other people to tell you what you want to do for work and kind of partnering with people, find the right people to work with. There's a lot of, lot of that there for Saturn Libra. Um, but ultimately you'll find a really strong job in that regard. Um, Saturn in a mercurial sign. I already talked about Saturn Virgo, Saturn Gemini as well, but, um, in the previous portion, but there's, there's a sense here where, um, there this is where the sales job is really, really a big part of it. Be doing a sales job, monotonous kind of communication, writing a lot, a lot, a lot of writing, um, not knowing what the writing for, what the purpose is, right? Something there, something strong there. Um, interesting colleague relationship, interesting stuff there. Like I said, I'm not going too deep into these because if I did, it would be forever. So I just kind of hit it a little bit and move on. Um, Saturn in um, Cancer in the sixth. This is um, working with the family, but not knowing how to work. This is a really emotional worker. This is a really, this, this one's a little bit hard. This is someone who is really, really deeply emotionally invested in the work they do. And they don't know how deeply invest because they care about the work they do. They really do. They, they want it. They, they want to have an emotional connection with the work that they do. And they kind of can't separate that sometimes because Saturn Cancer already has that struggle. If you have Saturn Cancer, check that video out. Um, but 
Center Cancer and the Six is like the work they're doing is really emotional and they care about it. So they need to have really caring work. So this is where you want, so if you have this placement, definitely go do some emotionally caretaking work. Caretake for something. Be a nurse. This is screams nurse. This screams nurse and caretaking and working in hospice, working in like nursing homes, working in, you know, real estate, but real estate that is like, not even really real estate. I don't want to say that because that's not really what it is in the sixth. It can be, but it's more of like, it screams nurse. It's just, it's just nurse, like nurse, doctors, that stuff, but mainly nurses, people that are caretaking people every day, or even working in restaurants is very sudden cancer. I talk about that sudden cancer, so check that out. Sudden Leo, um, it's an interesting one. Um, Sudden Leo in this sixth house here. Um, oh, I meant to add, I meant to add, let me roll it back a second. But I'll go back to Saturn uh, Gemini specifically. If you have Saturn in um, Gemini in uh, the sixth house, um, this is a very important one for you because it's your chart ruler. Okay. So Saturn in Gemini in the sixth house is going to have a very, 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 they're going to put a lot of themselves into the work. Okay. I want to kind of elaborate on this one a little bit more because it's the chart ruler. Um, put themselves in their work and they're going to really, really try and understand what they're here to do. There's going to be a lot of pressure for their, them to figure out um, their role, their colleagues. Their, yeah, they're going to have a really heavy focus on um, mental understanding of what they're here to do and, and kind of processing everything. And Saturn Gemini, if you have your Saturn in the sixth house in Gemini, please go watch your Saturn Gemini video because I, I went a lot into that specific sign because that will help you understand specifically what Saturn wants you to understand in Gemini and be patient with your mind and your opinions and stuff and be patient with your with your ability to be understood at the for, for the work that you do. Your work might be really weird um, and unstable and the two things that you want to do are going to be very polarized and different and you want to kind of merge them so just know that as well um anywho which was the same Saturn Leo um this is going to be um one of those placements that um this is one of those ones that's going to struggle a little bit um mainly because Saturn does not do that well in Leo if you have Saturn Leo I have that video as well you can check that out um but this is going to be one of those placements that I think is going to just want to be the center of the show but realize they had to work with other people there would definitely be a really really strong leadership energy here over time but they're going to not want to work with other people for a while they're going to want to be their own person and they're going to struggle with that working with other people having colleague relationships um work taking care of their their own health their own identity their own role they're kind of like i want to be my own person and they're like being brought into work with other people and they're this is where we see <laughs> their relationship this is really 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 niche but their relationship with like group projects whole thing like that in itself str like struggling with with like group projects and their role in group projects and the the um, adoration or the the um, recognition from group projects and work with others that's the whole thing they need to know how to work with others so that's a whole lesson with Saturn Leo um, and it's specifically in the sixth house um, other thing I wanted to say um, about um, Saturn and Cancer roll it back there too this is another chart ruler so Saturn and Cancer. Um, they have Saturn ruling the seven little chart because they're in Aquarius rising. Um, so if you're in Aquarius rising with Saturn and Cancer in that sixth house there, um, just know that this is also a really big deal here. This is where, yeah, this is where you put a lot of yourself into your work. I already said this a little bit earlier. So like I said, be a nurse, do those things, work towards some, some goal. Um, yeah, this is a really, if you have this placement, please check out that video because yeah, there's a heavy, heavy emotional toll because it is your chart ruler it's where you put it's where you where you go you you go to your coworkers. you go to work you go to figure out what you want to do um and there's a lot of emotional you need to be emotionally invested with what you do you need to put yourself in the emotions of others and have that be a job be a therapist right be a therapist be an emotional support person that's definitely going to help you anywho moving on saturn in a mercurial sign or sorry saturn in a jupiter world sign so you have saturn in sag and in pisces um this one's different here because saturn and sag and pisces both have a um a different opportunity here. Um, Saturn and Sag is a lot about expanding one's belief systems and one's meaning behind life. And this is where they could have, this is where you'll see a lot of job hoppers. Um, so similar to Saturn and Cancer where they want it, they're really invested in their work. Saturn and Sag is really invested in their work. All Saturn sixth houses are invested in their work. But um, Saturn and Sag in the sixth house is invested in what the work can, what meaning the work has to them, right? 
And it's not necessarily in, in an emotional sense, unless the moon's involved in its entirety. But um, this is about what they find meaning in, what they what they feel like they can learn from, what the, why they're going to school, right? This is this is like someone who really goes to school, like loves to go to school, um, and really struggles with that process and, and like applying and finding the right school and finding the right study. That's a lot there. Saturn and Pisces have the same kind of struggle, but for different reasons. Um, but yeah, there's a there's a thing here with Saturn and Sag that is um, kind of restrictive of the meaning behind their work. This is where you'll see someone going through a lot of different a lot of different uh, um, jobs throughout their life, a lot of different job hopping. That's what I really get with Saturn and Sag. But then at the end of it, they look back. They're like, oh, that made sense. Why I had to learn that skill and this skill and this skill to get me to where I'm at, right? That's kind of what Saturn Sag is about. Um, and they need to find meaning in what they're doing for work. They definitely need it to be meaningful. And every step they do has a lot of meaning. Um, so that's an interesting one there. Saturn Pisces, interesting one. Um, this is where you'll see some kind of um, spiritual work, right? Um, working with, with spirits, working with uh, spiritual business for sure. Having something they're fighting for, um, for refugees or for, um, you know, homeless people or people from other countries or, on you know, mental health, mental health counselor, right? It's very much that. Um, understanding their idealized version of what their life could be, right? And this this is where Saturn Saturn uh, sixth house can kind of struggle, um, especially when it's in Pisces, because it it is about the Saturn sixth house journey and, and Saturn Virgo journey. I said earlier was a lot about that goal that you have in mind and 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 the future version of you, right? And Saturn Pisces is all about the ideals. It's all about, and even Saturn Sag too, but it's about the idealized version of what your life could be, the, it, like the vision you have. Keep that vision true as you go through life as a Saturn Pisces um, because that's really going to help you, but it's about maintaining that vision and having a sense of reality of what your life can be and can't be. And look, look back at your years and see what you've accomplished and see what you can accomplish in that regard. There's a lot of stuff there like with working towards your vision and towards your dream life, right? The life that you that you see that you want it to be, right? Um, Saturn and Saturn signs, so Saturn Capricorn, Saturn Aquarius. Strong one here. Um, they're going to have really strong, um, really strong um, careers. Um, these are the bosses, right, for sure. Um, they're the ones that are both going to Really, these are working for older people, working for advocating for older people too. So this is the one with Saturn and Aquarius, similar to Saturn and Scorpio, where there's an advocacy aspect through the difficulty that they saw, right? This is more so for homeless people. It's more so for a community, for advocating for others, not necessarily advocating for themselves. It can be the same way with Saturn and Scorpio, but Saturn and Aquarius is a little bit differently where it's advocating for a community, for a group, for a collective, write a new law, passing a new sort of legislation, passing a new movement, um, creating a movement through their work, um, unionizing right there's a lot of unionizing with saturn in the sixth house but saturn aquarius has it especially strong where there's like a union right unionizing with your co-workers having a community um community building it's a lot of that there um kind of the whole thing about like building different you know making a maybe getting your friends together and having like a whole collective um kind of um home that you work on together and kind of building those skills and leaning on each other from all those different skills you have like find someone who's good with medicine and good with plants whatever right there's a lot of that stuff there's a lot of networking that one's really cool i like that one if you have saturn aquarius in the sixth house i'd love to hear how your saturn return was and just how you've been um because that's an interesting one um saturn and capricorn in the sixth like i said there is this is like a boss 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 energy um they definitely had to work towards a lot of different things in their life um because saturn's really strong here so it's going to delay a lot of stuff. Working with older people, like I said, working with um, just working towards being that CEO. Um, their back problems are probably a big deal after there's the first time return. They're kind of facing age um, and what they can and cannot do. So they're Saturn in the sixth overall, not even just Saturn in Capricorn, but Saturn in the sixth overall is about um, looking back at the last 30 years and be like, oh, okay, I did that. And I can't do that anymore. I don't have the capacity to do that anymore. Right? That's a lot of what Saturn does. Saturn's like, okay, you're good. You did all you could do. You're good. You got to sit on this now. You got to be responsible for this now, right? That's kind of a lot of it um, is kind of restructuring what you can and cannot accomplish. So it's a lot about working way prior, like over and over and over again and having that really strong work ethic um, and then being able to look back and say, okay, I did that. I reached that goal, right? I reached that thing. Um, so yeah. And then, yeah, that's really that's really it. Saturn in the sixth is there's a lot of different points here that I've made, and I think there's so many different things with it. If your Saturn is, has not been videoed yet, right, if it's nothing before um, Virgo, just wait. Those videos will come out. 
Um, I'm excited to do them. I'm really excited to do them. This is one of my favorite series. This is, if not my favorite series I've been doing because I just love talking about this. I love um, being able to provide this value. And Saturn Virgos, you guys have a lot of value to provide. You just need to be patient as you go through life and figure out your role and your your responsibility, those sorts of things. And you will get there, I promise. Um, it is definitely worth it. It's worth the wait. Um, so yeah, and if, if you guys have any questions about this, I'd love to hear more about how this experience was for you, how Saturn is like in Virgo or in the sixth house. Um, and of course, if you guys like this video, comment, share, subscribe, all those things are going to help me out to continue doing this. I love to do this. This is what I do for a living. Um, and of course, also on that note, if you guys are interested in any of my offerings, any readings with me, there's links down below as well. And all the rest of my videos in that playlist um, for this whole series and on there too. So thank you so, so much for being here. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Um, Saturn Virgo, Saturn Six Thousanders, keep working. Don't work too hard. Don't exhaust yourself. You can, you can do this. I promise you. Thanks again. Talk to you guys soon.